Welcome to another episode of Lucy Musings and today I'm going to try asking people, well I'm hoping it's not going to be a provocative question because it's certainly not meant that way, I am going to be asking people when do you get naked? I want to sort of understand what that means to different people. Let's find out what people have to say, hopefully <laughs> we'll take part. This is Candice. Yeah. Hiya Candice. I'm asking the question today, when do you get naked? First thing in the morning when I'm doing change. I also do lots of sports. Okay. So probably be in the changing rooms while well, getting changed for um, different sports. And then yeah, sleep naked. It's more natural as well. So don't want to go to sleep. Do you think that like um, talking about nudity is a taboo? Sorry. Yes. Yes, it is. I feel like we should be totally okay with our bodies. Feel more natural than whatever you look like. All right. Well, thanks very much for taking part. That's absolutely fabulous. Have you have a no lovely day. Yeah. Thanks. I've just found something really weird and wonderful, and I'm having a walk around it. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a piece of artwork or something. I think I'm stuck in a maze actually. I'm here with the very kind Joe and George, um, to ask them, when do you get naked? I would say, um, I guess, in the gym, getting changed. Okay. Um, in the morning, getting up, showering. Yeah, I'm very much the same. I only get naked in the shower or I sleep naked so I get out of bed naked then go into the shower and then get changed ready for the day. So that's like a practical thing then, I suppose. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I don't think I would be phased being in a house in a pair of underpants or being naked. But I'm not sure it's something I've given a lot of thought to. Do you think that being naked around other people is something that is acceptable in society or do you think there's something that still needs quite a lot of opinion? Um, I'd say it's definitely not acceptable. I think people are probably very embarrassed um, and I think it probably means different things to different people. I think some people are probably quite liberal about it yeah. and very easy in their own skin but I think probably the media and society portrays a very different approach in terms of acceptable norms and conventions. That's, that's really, really relevant. What do you think about the fact that I get naked for a lot of the naked lifestyle documentaries that I make? Do you think that's, that that's okay or do you think that... Absolutely, yeah. I think if, if you feel acceptable in yourself, yeah. then that that's in the world that you're in in terms of people you circulate with, the, the, the people who you are showing your naked body to yeah. are in circles that accept that rather than in the wider sides. I think if you walked down a street now naked, you'd have a few, uh, yeah, you'd really raise a few eyebrows when in yeah, the circles yeah. that you're in, they, they appreciate that and they appreciate the, the body and the naked body. So it's all about communication, basically. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I think the fact that I've sort of got to ask the question and you've got to be sort of kind of quite careful about how you broach that means that there's still room for discussion and maybe it's not something that you can necessarily normalise, but that everybody can do for their individual reasons if they yeah. talk about it. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking part, both. That's no amazing. I'm here with Zara and absolutely chuffed that she's taken part in this. Thank you so much. No so, Zara, when do you get naked? Literally at the start of the day and at the end of the day as an undressing form before I go to bed, but no other time really. So it's just like a, a practical, practical thing? Practical approach, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. What do you think about people like me who lead a naked lifestyle? For example, if I was, um, I don't know, daughter or relative and um, I do like, for example, clothing optional performances, what, what's your view on that? Do you think that I it's think that's acceptable? Great. I think of course it is, absolutely, for everybody. Nature is all, all of that, that's fine. Wouldn't necessarily be for me, it wouldn't be that body confident, wouldn't be that comfortable. But yeah. for those that can and are, I think it's great. So it's a bit Liberating, like, I would yeah, say, exactly. Yeah. I really appreciate you taking part. Thank you no so problem. much. Carry on what you're doing. Thank you. As usual, it's a mixed bag of opinions. Some people actually don't want to take part because for them, they just said that like um, the whole question, even being asked about nudity, is a very personal one. I always try and find out like a real and true uh, opinion of what people actually think, and it's not always going to be that people are naked all of the time like me. I think it's relevant because it sort of feeds into what I do and what society in general thinks. Okay, I'm here with the really funkily dressed Hannah. Can I show your trousers? Yeah, go for it. How funky are they? I'm gonna have fun on <laughs> Woman after my heart. You know, I love colours and stuff. When do you get naked? Yeah. <laughs> well, so I was just thinking about that when you asked the question. Yeah. Honestly, it's mostly when I just get home from a long day okay. and you just want to chill out. And it's nice. when you're getting changed into your pyjamas and you're like, it's just kind of like chilling out. And then also, like you said, sleeping, sleeping as well, I guess. Do you think that like um, there's reasons why people don't go get get naked so much? Like, yeah. well, I guess it's just because 
you've got to feel comfortable with yourself yeah. and just kind of exist in your like most natural state. So I feel like as a woman, like our bodies are always automatically sexualized no matter what. Okay. So it feels different. Like even if you're wearing more revealing clothing, that's immediately taken as a judgment as well to the person you are. Well, thank you so much for taking part. I really appreciate that. <laughs> no I'm with Sophie and Jan. And I'm in the Queer Emporium in Cardiff, which is a wonderful venue if you do come here. Very supportive in terms of the LGBTQ community. What does being naked mean to you? And is it easy to be naked and body positive within the community? To me, being naked at the moment for, and for a long time has been as simple as getting into the shower and like looking at myself and just thinking, that's me naked, like that's not sexual and it's just me. Okay. Um, and that for me is personally is enough like to feel positive about myself and yeah. to accept myself in that sense. Um, in terms of like how it feels as part of the LGBTQ community, um, it definitely adds a different layer to it I think. Okay. Um, but a complex one, like it's hard to pinpoint I mm -hmm. think how different it feels. Any sort of community is gonna have its own like context and its own um positivities and, and issues so I suppose that maybe it's better not to like focus in on a particular community and look at individuals would you say or? I guess like the obvious answer is um, the T in LGBTQ and yeah. um, the trans community yeah. um, or anyone who like I guess experiences any kind of body dysmorphia okay, yeah. um, can um, like experience nudity in a different way perhaps yeah, um, yeah, even like just looking at themselves looking at anyone else in art um, but yeah, I guess that's kind of like the pinpoint in a different Yeah, that's really, that's really relevant. Community. It's great to hear a different perspective on that. And what about you, Jan? Um, yeah, I would say that for me right now, being naked to me probably, uh, sometimes it can be really empowering. And yeah. I find it really nice. And yeah. make me feel really happy and confident. Yeah. Sometimes, like at the moment, I'm working a lot, which means yeah. that um, I don't, I avoid being naked unless I'm literally in the shower, so it literally yeah, depends yeah. on, it, but that's like a week by week thing, so it's not yeah. a, it's not like for long periods, but it goes backwards and forwards. Okay. And then in terms of the community, I definitely agree with what Sophie said, I think that, um, I know for like different parts of the community, yeah. there's loads of issues around mm -hmm. body image, lots of people have lots of mental health issues around it, um, but particularly for the trans community and the non-binary people, uh, non-binary communities, the people who uh, suffer from gender dysmorphia is yeah. a massive, massive thing. Okay, yeah. I, I think that's really interesting because I think that's not something we really like touched on so much. It's good to hear like um, some relevant like um, areas to maybe look at so that the whole nakedness thing is more inclusive. So thank you, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. So that brings me to the end of this episode of Lucy Musings. I think that was a really positive end actually. It's opened my eyes up to like um, how inclusive the whole world of nudity is and different sort of um, issues or things that might not be covered in that in terms of when you're asking when do you get naked or what does nudity mean to you like are you covering everything it's probably impossible to cover everything but I think it's, it's possible to make a good start on asking questions that aren't always covered so I hope you've enjoyed it um, thanks so much for watching see you soon bye